Ugh. Mm. Hey, good morning, guys. What's up? I'm Vortac. Um, oh, sorry. I've been, uh, I haven't, uh, I haven't woken up in a while. I've just been kind of hibernating here in my condo because I've been waiting for some new cool things to be added to Tower Unite, and it's been done. Physics and weather have been added to the game, so I'm here at my condo today to show you some of the cool things you can do in Tower Unite, and also experience them for the first time myself, because all I did was buy this stuff. I haven't looked at any videos, I haven't checked out any notes, or I've checked out, that's all I've done is checked out notes, but I haven't, I, I don't know how to use the stuff. I just know there's physics. So I went out, and I bought a couple of sport-related items. First and foremost, we got the beach volleyball net, uh, which I guess I'm just going to place right here because I forgot the controls. Um, so queue to use your inventory. Oh, I got rid of it. <laughs> we got a beach volleyball net. I have the basketball hoop. I have a punching bag. I got some beach chairs just for uh, scenery. I'm going to relearn some controls here, and we're going to play some beach volleyball. I was looking at my inventory trying to find the net, and uh, yep, here it is. Uh, this could be an interesting way to play the game. I mean, I, I might have just invented a whole new sport. Finally ready. So uh, I have the beach set up here. We have a couple chairs so people can watch. And uh, we're going to play an epic game of volleyball. Unfortunately, the only ball I could find was this basketball. Yeah. This is actually really cool. Uh, something I've a I actually really wanted to see happen in Unturned, the other game I'm playing here on the channel, is uh, some kind of physics like this so you can play sports with other people. Because uh, we play on a server with a lot of people, and it would be really fun to, uh, you know, have some physics going. So I can catch it. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I could pick it up, and I could just throw this. But can I interact with it while it's bouncing around? All I can do... It seems all I can do is pick it up. Huh. That's really interesting. Well, up here, I got the basketball hoop. And uh, this is obviously designed for solo play if you can't dribble a ball or take it from people, which I'm really not sure how that would work in this first-person kind of environment, but uh, definitely just for uh, playing some horse or something, that, that would work. Uh, oh, no! Oh, my God. I thought that was right over the railing. <laughs> I'll never see it again. Okay, let's try from back here. And just kind of aim at the backboard. No, that was too low. I got to get a basket before this video is over. What if I just throw it under the hoop? Can I do that? Great shot. <laughs> Great shot. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> That's funny. It gave me two? Uh, it's weird. Throwing it from under the basket is a two-pointer, guys. Just so you know. That's that's a thing. I didn't realize there was a scoreboard on this. That is really cool. Get, ah, get over here. Can I kick it? No. Soccer, soccer's probably next, right? It's got to be. Huh. No! This is actually a really good spot for it. It hasn't fallen off the roof yet. Oh. Really cool. So, other things in this update. While I'm messing with this basketball, I can, tr I can definitely show you the, uh, the other part of the update. Weather. So, if you hold uh, C, you can go into environment in your condo. And you can change the time of day. So, we can make it uh, nighttime. Or I'll just do midday. I can change the angle of the sun, which is interesting, uh, how that's separate from time of day. And weather cycle on, and it's just random now. But we can also just click on some weather presets. So, oh, and there it goes. It's changing to clouds, and it's just kind of doing its own thing right now. I'm guessing this is going to make some crazy weather patterns for us. Let's do straight up rain. Let me turn this off. And there we go. Now we have some pretty heavy rain while we're trying to play basketball. Nice. Shot. Nice. I did it. Huh. Rain is lucky. Huh. So, really, really cool addition to Tower Unite. I'm pretty happy with, uh, with this. I would love to find a beach volleyball because they added the net, and I, I, I would like to assume that a beach volleyball was also added. But Because you can't interact with the basketball. Oh, that's why it's not falling off. There's an invisible wall. Um, I'm guessing you can't interact with the basketball in any other manner than to just pick it up and try to throw it at the hoop again. Nice hand. Sweet. So, there you go. There's these two, but I did buy... Let me put that in the pool so I don't lose it. Oh, no. Come back. <laughs> Get over here. There is one more thing I, I, I got that I want to show you. Just stay in the pool. It should... It doesn't... The physics are cool, but the water is invisible to that ball. 
I got this punching bag. And uh, it looks like I can just kind of like run into it. And it definitely interacts with my body running into it, but that's about all I can do. There's no there's no option to kind of punch it if I click with the mouse. If I hit E, nothing happens. I can shine a flashlight on it. Not very intimidating. So, <laughs> there, it looks like Towery Knight's just kind of experimenting with some physics, which is really cool. Checking out some of these other weather patterns. It's kind of weird, like some of the aesthetics here. You can do sun with fog. You can do like clouds with fog. And uh, you see all these dials just moving around down here. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we can just kind of like adjust these ourselves. We can, do, we can do everything. Snow, wind, hail, rain, fog, and clouds. This is like, I'm guessing this is like some kind of apocalyptic setting we could turn on. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. What would be really cool if, it's, if the snow like accumulated and, and, and things like that. Obviously, this configuration is also an option. Um, the net's a little bit high, but I guess if you're swimming in a pool with your pals, you can uh, <laughs> you can try to somehow play beach volleyball with this. This this pool is not really good for that. It's it's pretty tiny. I guess we could also put it on the ocean for the, a similar effect. Maybe the net can lower into the uh, water more on the shallow end, and you can get that kind of feel there too uh but i'm just kind of messing around at this point seeing what else we can we can do with this little update we have uh but yeah i think that's about all i can show you for now i appreciate you guys watching um tower unite videos are not something i generally do these days unless there is some kind of update because i kind of played through all the things that the game has to offer so stuff like this really is exciting keeps me coming back and uh, if you want to check out the game it is linked down in the description below i believe it's 15 dollars uh, I'd say it's pretty worth it. The, the game is really going well. It's progressing very nicely throughout development. The roadmap they have posted on their website is just awesome. And uh, I'd highly recommend you at least check it out if you have some extra, extra time and uh, you're thinking about finding a cool new game. We can invite anyone to this condo we want. I could turn this TV and put on a YouTube video if I want. Uh, you know, there's a lot of interactive things you can do. So if you haven't seen it yet, definitely check out some of my other videos. Huh? Huh? <laughs> In Towery Night, and you can uh, see for yourself. So again, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.